here's my quick tip for you guys. I think we don't need in the past. If you can avoid sugar, that will be great because, you know, you know, I really would like to be as sharp as possible because I have a full-time job and then I'm going to run this business at the same time. Hindi po pwedeng, you know, pag uwi mo, pagod na pagod ka na or pag mo sa umaga, exhausted ka na. So you really have to be wise sa intake mo because hindi po pwedeng uh, mindset, mindset lang eh. You know, our mind is connected to our body. Yung mga coffee, that's good. Pero kung mga 3-in-1, it is high in sugar. So I challenge you guys na get a pack of the 3-in-1 na paborito natin kasi that's the hardest part. It's not really the giving up, eh. pero yung pagka favorite mo na, right? Medyo may a little bit addiction kana ang hirap i-give up. Eh, ganun po din ang yari sa akin. So, I want, but I challenge you for anyone who taking like three and one coffee, get a pack of that coffee and then look at the back. Tingnan nyo kung ganang, ganong karaming sugar. And you will be surprised. Kasi minsan, uh, kala natin, coffee lang ako, no sugar, pero three and one. But when you look at that, may kita mo ilang grams of sugar in there, you will be surprised. Yeah, I have to admit that in the last few weeks, I'm not as sharp in my uh, diet, but I'm going back again sa fasting because again, uh, the reason is not just, you know, para magkaroon ng six-pack because you can feel it. Ako, uh, for personally, I can feel it if um, if, I, if I am sharp. Eh. You know, pag upo mo sa computer, you can do a lot of work. But at the same time, pag hindi ka sharp, yung parang minsan nakatitig ka lang or ayaw tumakbo ng utak mo and all those things. So, a few things could be your food, it could be lack of sleep, right? Could be your your sugar, yung sugar level po natin kasi ganun ang nangyayari normally eh. Like sure up yung sugar level mo and then lahat na nag tumataas bumababa. <laughs> so, take ka ng something heavy, sugar, magka-crash. So, gagawin mo, magte-take ka na naman ng another heavy sugar na pagkain and then magka-crash ka na naman and ganun ang mangyayari sa'yo instead of just steady. So, normally, at least for me, number one reason of that is food talaga. There you go. So I'm not a health expert, <laughs> but I'm really a student of life and um, these are some of the things that I discovered. Wait, before you go, do not forget to click that red subscribe button below. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.